Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF, bringing you episode 33, the Scotty Pippen episode of Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3. Hope you guys are doing well and ready to check out more BG3. We have been in Moonhaven, just discovering so much. That it's kind of absurd. We're stuffing our pockets. We're lining our pockets. We're stuffing our brains full of interesting lore and cool stuff goings on about us, around us, I should say. Explore thoroughly to find favorite and secrets. That's exactly what this game is presenting us, and I'm having a great time doing it. So, oh, last episode, you have to see. If you didn't already, we um, walked in on something a little uh, unexpected and um, got into a combat with a pretty big foe. And today we're looting them, but you definitely can't miss what happened last episode. So I suggest checking that out. But here's Booth there here. See how big? When we get to loot her today. Uther. Three gold. Only three gold. And a morning star. We'll take the morning star. We do take the weapons. Gruko. Three gold and a javelin. Um, let's go in and uh oh boy. Don't touch anything. Mangled corpse. Pile of bones. Oh, nine gold, an arrow of many targets. Deal an additional half damage to three other targets in range. This arrow is far more flexible than most. It can bend nearly in half without snapping. Neat. We'll grab that and the arrow of roaring thunder. Push this targets back 17 feet. Shall we? Ask what happened here. The corpse has nothing to say. Oh. Okay. The realm according to Bumpo. Here's some rotten food. We're gonna start being a little more proactive with what we pick up. We'll grab one torch. Um broken covered, but the realm according to Bumpo. I guess we picked that up and read it from our inventory. Um, a mass printed paperback detailing the adventuring experiences of the fictional Rube Gabin Bumpo. The book naturally falls to a dog-eared page in which Bumpo describes the more unusual races he's met in his travels. Oh, the bird folk, right. The Aracocra. At the head of a parrot, the body of a humid, and wings of a parrot. Tried not to stare, but it was real hard. Turns out she was one of a motley party, because around her table were a tabaxi, tabaxi, cat folk, a genasi, an element folk, and a turtle, a turtle folk. Trying to act casual, I asked what the hell they all were. They ignored me, but I can't blame them. To them, I must have looked awfully dull and average, for they were the first of their kind I'd seen, but I was just one of a billion boring humans to them. Okay, let's, uh... Pork loin. Don't want to pass up a good pork loin. But considering where it's uh, kind of been, A is for Azuth and other gods. That must be outside somewhere. Uh oh. Wooden crate. Iger store noble rot. Close your eyes, you can almost taste Neverwinter. Earth eats you ever so slightly green. Lazel? Cariff of wine. Northerners cherish this mold wine for its spice and warmth, not to mention its strength. Lazel? A jade? A precious mineral from the sea of fallen stars, cherished by sovereigns and stone carvers alike. And an agate. Pretty healthy find there. Covered? Nothing. 
wooden crate. Oh my gosh, Shazalian sweet. Oh, Lazel's going to get encumbered. Let's start giving them to Will, I guess. Wine. Arkans Horde. Stags with Tonic. Another Jade. And another Aggie. Looks empty. Huh. And the Pork Loin. We'll go ahead and grab. And pass this off to Will. So we've clearly got to go back to camp at some point here. I mean, we're like... Yes, I can make I can stuff more in our pockets, basically. But do I really want to? Look at all the blood, guys. It was wicked out here. Um, let's see. This is the western exit. I don't even know if we've done everything in town yet. We didn't go around, that's for certain. Should probably go around. What was that? A hunter stash or something? There was something there, dude. What was it? Yep. Mysterious hole. Oh, curious book. This book feels light in your hands and strangely hollow. Hmm. Seems like someone liked their books to have a twist. <laughs> Inside was an ith bank. It's Tetherian, Tetherian Vintner. Layers oh, elegant. A bit of a drinking problem. <laughs> Layers elegant and expressive flavor like a bard's melody. Give that to Will. Can we still read it? No, oh, I guess there's nothing to read, but we'll examine it. Uh, we'll send that to Shadowheart. A scimitar, that's worth money. And an oil lamp. The sides of this brass lamp are shinier than the rest as if they've been repeatedly rubbed. Oh. Oh, but it's not actually a genie lamp. It's just people were rubbing it, thinking it was. Oh, I can use it. Wait a minute. All right, let's get unencumbered here a little bit more, if I can. Um, What can I really pitch out? A short sword. Yeah, I definitely want to head back to the Druid Grove shortly. Maybe even in this episode. Because we've got so much. Um. To sell and stuff. Let's go ahead and use that lamp and see what happens. Oil, oil, oil lamp. Where are you? Right there. Use it. Nothing happened. Huh. Just rubbing its sides, essentially. Let's come up here. Old well, sheep. Okay, we've... Oh, wait, 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 isn't there a, wait a minute, can't we bust through this, this wall right here? No? And he won't go over the wall. So we go in. We've been pretty much all around. What is that? Oh my gosh. Does that somehow connect to the Shadow the Underdark too? This ginormous ruin that's just sitting here? Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, we've got to go check out the druids. We haven't even been to the goblin camp to save Kelson yet. I mean, we've got so much to undertake, and there's just so much to see and do, and loot, and... Man. What was back here again? Oh, okay, sleeping bugbear. We won't rob him of his wine. Well, that ties to the Underdark. Apothecary's house. Yeah, we're pretty much tapped out here. Let me just make quick sure. I think... Yeah, we did this too. Goes to the Underdark. I don't want to be in the Underdark. Probably don't want to do that ruin yet because there has to be some connection to the Underdark there based on proximity alone. So, let's... Let's head back to, uh... The Druid Grove and hope that the goblins have not invaded yet. I'm a little worried because Saza has the location of it when we rescued her. Let's check the map. Well, wooden hatch. Carlock. Oh, is that so? Huh. Well, let's click this. I don't like the quest markers, honestly. Let's head back to the Emerald Grove. Koga, search the Emerald Grove. Okay. Or oh, let's go to the environs. Okay. We have to fight off more goblins, then that's okay. So far, so good. Still, it's red to. I'm gonna search these guys even though it's red because they may have some important information on them about the raid uh, stuff's worth money and stuff but I'd be stealing it so just forget about it someone else's kill traditionally it's not mine to plunder let's head back into the grove um. Oh, oh my gosh. I was like, they're not going to let me in. Wow. Whoo, maybe dodged a bullet there. Let's go talk to the trader right here, and then we'll just get back on the road as soon as we do some inventory management, which I always love to do. No cap. It's very fun for me. Hope you guys enjoy it too. Um, let's go ahead and talk to Aaron here. Need anything else? I do. We need to trade, sir. Of course. But please, remember, you're not the only one in need. Indeed, I'm not the only one in need. Let's go to Will. Let's see. Will has all this good stuff. Um, sell a torch. Sell quarterstaff. Spear you can throw, I guess. Short sword, not proficient. Sell it, sell it. The daggers he can throw. Scimitar, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Mace, uh, get rid of it. Rapier. Well, he's not working out with the not proficient with only certain characters are proficient. With a pack bound trident. I don't know why that is. But we're going to have to cast that pack bound again and get rid of that. So let's get rid of the rapier too, the padded armor, the leather armor, the boots, sell, selenite, selenite prayer sheet, handwritten prayer to selenite, selenite right, pork loin, the scruffy vagabond clothes. Bloodstone and Idol of Salune. 
gazing quietly at the world. Um, is it anything special? Probably just sell that. Bulk. Nature snare. Chance to ensnare target if it is not a plant or beast. Oh, he should just use that. Honestly. Let's go ahead and equip it. We'd have to unequip this. Drop item. And equip that. There we go. Yeah, you can use that. He's proficient with it. It's a simple weapon. And, uh... Everything else here seems pretty up and up that he could use. Um, cool, so if we barter, we'll get 132 gold. There's also the Gloves of Missile Snaring. Reducing missile ranged weapon attacks by 1d10 plus your dex modifier. That's pretty nifty. Let's, we'll see, we'll look at what he can add, what we can get. Afterward, we've got 1100 gold. And she's got a ton to sell, so let's see here. She's got a lot of camp supplies. Basic poison. Yeah, she's got a lot of supplies. <laughs> Short sword, javelin. Uh, she's got a bow, so... Pickaxe will keep, quarterstaff, short bow, short bow, pitchfork, makeshift spear, hand axe can be thrown, but she doesn't need to throw. Like I said, we've got four goblin bows, a mace, two goblin scimitars, a trident, now that's interesting. She's using the Watcher's Guide. When the spear misses, the next wielder's next attack roll gains True Strike, which is very nice. So Trident, uh, sell it. It is a nice find, though. Long sword, long sword, long bow. She's using short bow. She could use long bow. Uh, let's put this back on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where'd it go? There we go. I just wanted her to get back with the, the look of it. All right, then we've got, oh man, a great sword. Which she's proficient with. She's like really good with a great sword. Plus there's a great axe. 1d12. This is... 1d8 plus 3 of the spear. This is 1d12 plus 3. And this is 2d6 plus 3. Just massive. We'll sell the great axe. The glaive even. 1d10 plus 3. Ruffle some blaggard hat. Ignoble hat. Leather armors. Ringmail armor. We'll look into that again. I don't know if I decided to sell that. Studded shield. Scrapwood shield. Boots. Get the Yankee boots. Oh. They have athletics plus one. I did not realize that. I don't know why we're keeping the slave mines and stuff. Maybe they do something. She's got more supplies. Rags. All the pork loin and stuff. Tanner's delight. She was keeping all the clothing. Good. Both ribs made with duster. All right, and she can get 312. Go ahead and barter that. We're up to 1430. And what I want to do, what Shadow Hearts armor? Scale mail. Let's see the ring mail. Oh, let's send send that to Shadowheart. Oh, it doesn't work in here. Okay, well. Chainmail 16. Oh, but she's not proficient with heavy armor. Huh. 
Well, it's her turn to sell, so... Sell we will. She doesn't need a pickaxe. Javelin's a throw, but she's got a crossbow, so we could probably just end up selling the spears and the javelins. Short sword, hand axes. Daggers, the cleaver. It's pretty interesting, but... Two more javelins, a long sword, a light hammer, mace, scimitar, battle axe is pretty interesting. She's not proficient with it. Leather boots, um, the unclaimed, the curse of the vampire, soul coins of treaties, case of the mortar and pestle, the iron pan. Tasteful boots, casual sandals, the large bottles. Um, split these. Did not split. Um, try to split again. No. There we go. Let's sell eight of them. Sell the portrait of Ifan Ben Mezd, the Valley with Brook. Um, sell four waters, five ink pots, and Tiger Mist. And she's got the rare dye, dark vision, oil of sharpness, a backpack. And a curious book, which had, right, I don't know if we're done with that, let's see, 206, he's got 40 gold left and I haven't even sold to him yet, so let's see what we can do here. Let's get her boots back on because they're athletics plus one. The magical boots then... go to me I think where it dashes or takes a similar action they gain three lightning charges and athletics plus oh they're athletics plus one and the lightning charges um who would dash the most I would think I would probably dash the most or a similar action all right, let's exit out of here for a second. Sylvanas, be with you. Um, You're being arrested for theft. If you have a defense, make it now. What? How about a little something to smooth things over? 50 gold. It may have been unwise to reveal just how much gold you have on your person. Um, acquiesce and fall to prison? You've been locked up for your crimes? What happened? Oh, Elizarian said an ordinary lamp, not a trace of magic on it. What the heck happened? Shadowheart just went to jail? And we lost it. Where's our gold at? We just passed the time. Melnor's torch stuck. Do I have to escape? Can I just pass my time? That was a mistake. Oh, we're back in the wilderness. No. I almost have to accept this. Unless she just blasts out. Oh, dear. 
At least we cleared this path before. Jump. Well, she's got a pretty decent jumping ability. Oh, they came back. Dang. At least she's saving against them. Oof. She saved again. I don't know. We might have to reload after all. Okay. Stop, criminal. You committed enough crimes to become a fugitive from the law. Nearby guards will do their best to bring you to justice, but your notoriety will eventually pass after short resting or waiting. Then please, let us short rest. Oh, welcome rest. Let's get our equipment back. How much money did we get? 223. Doesn't seem right. Everything's back on the up and up, I guess. That was weird. I don't know what you got arrested for theft for. Hmm. Does not make much sense. I don't know what happened. Arca sat and board. Padrina. is knocked down and paralyzed by magic, so we can't deal with her. <laughs> Here's the party. Shadowheart, uh, welcome back, I guess. <laughs> wow. Whew, we got out of that somehow smoothly. Why is Will? Let's move. All right, let's quick save and not do that again, whatever happened. Need anything else? Trade, okay. We got 1600, so it seems about right. Uh, oh, I wanted to leave for a second. Give the. Let's see. The speedy light feet where it dashes or takes a similar action. So like disengage, throw, improvised melee weapon, help, shove, hide, jump, dip. Uh, probably me because I'll, I'll jump from like a ledge to get a better shot. So I think for me, we have a lot to sell, by the way. This will make sense. Very cool looking boots. I love it. Looks good with the set here. All right. And she's got to get the Yankee boots. I crave blood. Shadowheart. Um, can't use the chain mail. What else were we looking at for her? I don't know. Oh, uh... I guess that's it. Camp, she's got a camp supply pack too. All right, now let's go to me and hope that I don't have any uh, stolen uh, stuff. Scroll of stinking cloud. Create a cloud of gas, gas so nauseating it prevents creatures from taking actions. Ring of Flinging. The wearer gains a 1d4 bonus to throw damage. Ring Mail Armor plus one. We should buy some stuff that we can now. Uh, I'm not proficient with Heavy Mail. Chain Shirt plus one. Now I want to see Shadow Heart. take one less slashing damage and not get disadvantage on stealth checks and it's 390 hedge wanderer plus one to deck saving throws and checks and nature plus one 
It's a lot of cool stuff. Rain Dancer. Uncommon Quarterstaff. Create Water. Dragon's Grasp. A Hand Axe. Deals additional damage to burning targets. Yeah, he's got a lot. He's got arrows we can grab. Well, let's grab these gloves of missile snaring. You can intercept missiles from ranged weapon attacks, reducing their damage by 1d10. Plus your dexterity modifier. What's your dexterity modifier, girl? Lazelle? Oh, she's got the gloves of power. Will's got the braces of defense. I guess Shadowheart. I've got leather gloves. Shadowheart can. She's got metallic gloves. Does it come to me to do missile snaring? I have the best uh, dexterity bonus. Yeah, we'll grab those. And then we'll sell some stuff. Infernal iron, smoke powder satchel, two jades, I guess. Four agates. Two plates. Two malachite. It's quickly adding up. Bloodstone. Four knives. Thirteen potatoes. Um, we'll, we'll give those away. Onyx. Silver goblet. Glass retort. Incense. 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 Round flask. Separatory funnel. Three ink pots and quills. A broken loot. Oh, hang on to that. It's a little different. Water, spoon. Two of them. Shaft of a broken spear. Definitely keep the blueprints. The child's drawing. Well, I don't know. Empty potion bottle. Purple fluorite shards. Huh? That's different. Breezy sandals. We'll keep those, by the way. Corgette. Clamshell. End up selling that. Two rags. Large bottle. Fishing rod. I don't know if we can actually fish. Carrot of water. Six bones. Four quills. Two skulls. Two more skulls. Keep the bucket. Um, the Eldritch tablet. We'll read those, I guess. Glass chalice. Never know when you need a hammer. Mug. The oil lamp will hang on to, I guess. Maybe it'll become magical later. I doubt it, though. Tongs. Yeah, I'm a bit of a hoarder. We'll sell one of those. And one of these. I'm going to keep all the books and stuff. There's a ton of them. A hand drum. A uh, cellulite, cellulite necklace. Silver necklace. Burnish necklace. Silver locket. Words for Papa. Tarnish locket. El Terrell. Strength and Unity. Leather boots. Amethyst ring. Onyx ring. I don't know if we can get these enchanted. Peridot ring. Garnet ring. Rapier. Morning star. Dagger. Torches. Needle of the Outlaw Rogue. Scrolls. Shovel. Potions that he can use. Rotten chicken eggs. Just sell them. Sell all the rotten stuff. Never to be picked up again. Literally selling rotten fish, rotten shrooms, rotten carrots. Uh, that's everything. Uh, four thirty-four. So we only have to pay four eighty to get that. We have fifteen ninety-two left. So. 
But I want to grab that balsam too. For potions of greater healing. And everything else he has. Uh, I think we sold him. Then he's got these arrows of ice. Arrows of fire. Arrows of lightning. Plus 2d4 lightning. Plus 2d4 cold. Shatters and deals an explosion in seven feet. This explodes in a bolt of lightning. Deals 2d4 in a 7 foot radius. Ray of sickness poisons the target. Tasha's hideous laughter. Arrow of acid. Um, let's just grab the missile snaring for now. And let's make this trade. Like Shadowheart. Let's put these on. So anyway, what I'm gonna do, everybody's sold now. Maybe she can use the chain mail actually. Okay, nobody got arrested. <laughs> All right, so this chain mail we have, can we give it to Lazel? Lazel, okay, she has the Oak Fathers and no, she doesn't have that. I want to see Lazel. She's got the Githyanki half plate. Um, no AC bonus from Dex, but it's heavy armor. The tight weave of chains in this armor chimes like wind through leaves. I think I will go ahead and give her this. Okay. Now what we do with the Githyanki half plate. I don't know. But. What else? The gloves of missile snaring we'll give to uh, Shadowheart. Because she's got the least HP out of everybody. Like... I think these would help her. And then, sorry if I'm getting a little stuffed up now, guys. I'll take the metallic gloves, I guess. My leather gloves. What else? Uh, and we've got a lot of stuff we're carrying still. Okay, let's exit. Let's inventory. Sort by type. Will. Sort by type. Shadow heart. Sort by type. I have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. Look at how far encumbered we still are. That is not going to be acceptable. We've got to make better choices. Maybe there's somewhere we can drop something off. Once we find a home, once we do the Druid's Grove, maybe they'll offer us a room here or something. Stuff's bare. Um, I don't know. But I guess everybody's got the shinies now. I, I'm still not done. We have money to spend. Let's go see what the other sellers have and let's see how long we've been playing. 39 minutes, so we're going to wrap it here. I'll take this way. Can't give up now. Careful, Shadowheart. I don't want you getting arrested again. <laughs> Let's go down and see what that great sword plus one person had. The the armory down here, the little armory. Right, I've got food, water, my dagger. Arca's bored and sad. So we'll do a little teaser of what to expect next time. We'll come here and talk to Damon. I should speak up. I'd die if I met the road. Looking for steel. I have, well, 
something close. He's got some cool stuff like a safeguard shield, saving throw plus one. Wow. Hunting short bow. It does. It's a plus one. Plus it does hunter's mark. And feller of monsters. You have advantage against monstrosity type enemies. Versus once per short rest. You regain a level one spell slot when you let a critical hit with spell thief. I don't know. You know, if we want that light crossbow plus one, we can get maybe the great sword plus one if he still has it. Maul plus one. Light hammer plus one. I thought he had a great sword plus one. I could have sworn he did. It is now nowhere to be seen unless the, uh, Oh, the stuff changes as it goes. You're an idiot. I'm pretty sure he had a great sword plus one. You guys remember. Maybe you have to buy it when it's hot. Well, let's close this and say I want to see your wares. Now it's slightly different. At least it's arranged differently, and he still doesn't have the great sword. Or does he? Yes, he does. No, it's a short sword plus one. Dang. Okay, well, we'll deal with this next time, guys. We'll make a few purchases, do something fun. Maybe talk to another trader that's down here. I forget which one it was. But uh, we'll look for more goodies next time and have more fun. I hope you'll join me for that. Thank you so much for watching the Scotty Pippin episode. <laughs> as I lovingly call it. But really appreciate you guys for watching. You make it all worthwhile. I'll see you guys next time. Come on back. Much love, peace, and joy. And uh, take care. And hope you guys come back uh, for the next one. Going to have a lot more fun. We'll, hit out, we'll head out on the road again soon. So should be good. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.